His room sure looks a lot like my living room. Like. What is this, the upside down world or something? <sighs> no, the room just varies based on whatever your present location is. One of the darker corners of my mind. The source of all my worries and fears and- Nightmare before Christmas? Oh, yeah, it does not get that dark. Oh, I love that. Yeah, spiders! No need to worry, Patton, that is just the pattern on the curtains. I am terribly afraid of spiders. I would like to trade places with someone. This room is literally covered in spider webs, and yet the curtains on Zettelio? Well, I literally don't see any spiders in those, Logan. These curtains are literally covered in them. Why, those are just silly cartoons. They're not even realistic. But if need be, I will destroy them for you, Patton. Thanks, but let's call them what they are, Roman. Spider curtain. Creepy crawly death dealers. It, okay. All right, but like, if this is his room, where is anxiety? What are you doing in my room? <laughs> Anxiety? Oh my goodness, I am so happy to see you! That's weird. You literally all just screamed in unison upon seeing me. Sorry, it's just, you do this thing where you, where you just kind of appear? Wait, what am I wearing? What is my hair? Welcome back, Thomas. Thanks, Roman. Look, Ow! anxiety, you don't understand. Come on. For some reason, I wasn't feeling your presence at all. Yeah, I know. It's because I've decided to duck out. Quack. Wait, duck out? Quack, quack. That's a thing you can do? For this video, I guess. What do you mean? I removed myself from the equation. I quit. Decided it wasn't worth it anymore. Why would you do that? Well, it didn't seem like I was wanted. You all made that pretty clear any time I showed up. What? Except you, Patton. You're a funny guy. I love my dark, strange son. Well, surely you knew that we were just preparing ourselves for the worst pa- Okay, uh, maybe I could rephrase that. Uh, we were just tensing up because we knew that something bad w I- Hey, look, it's just, you're never really fun. And Roman, shut up. Look, I am the creative side, not the fluffy, cutesy, kind wordsy side. So, one would think that the creative side would be able to come up with a nicer way to talk to others. You'd think the smart side would know when to mind his own business. Okay, it's real sweet that you all decided to come for a visit, but if I wanted to stand around being insulted, I would've shown up in person like I usually do. Oh, you poor little anxious baby. Let's just face facts. You're better off without me. No, 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 that is where you're wrong. Very much so. I don't think any of us comprehended how much you factor into Thomas's decision making. Yeah, I mean, without you, he was acting like a, um, just a, like a big bumbling couch potato man. That, there's probably a nicer way to say that, but. Just an unfiltered, I'm just gonna come out and say it, a cotton-headed Indy Muggins. <gasps> that is enough out of you. Logic. See, he's reining me in right now because of you. You do talk too much sometimes. I never thought I'd appreciate you saying that. We've already learned that Thomas listening to me too much can be a problem. Same with Roman, probably even Logan. <laughs> Easy. Now, while I still have your attention, do you think maybe we could switch places? All right, I can't say it isn't nice to hear you all groveling, but I actually think you were right to not want me around. I've always aimed to protect you, but lately, it feels like I've been keeping you from doing anything. If your only goal is to protect, then why do you act like the embodiment of a dark and stormy night all the time? Roman. What? He's a creepy cookie. You're a creepy cookie, Anxiety. Roman. You're like a, an oatmeal raisin cookie that's primarily composed of raisins. A raisin oatmeal cookie. No one wants that. Pump the brakes, Princey. I'm sorry. You pumped those brakes. I'm sorry. I'm just, I'm feeling a little um, extra passionate here. When did you apply eyeshadow? I didn't. But does it look okay because a prince has got to slay? Of course it looks good. Why would you think it wouldn't? Do you have self-esteem issues? <gasps> Am I asking too many questions? Putting on a dark persona is the best way to get anyone's guard up. But all this reflecting and working on your issues with us has gotten me to think that I overdo it. You could never overdo it. Mm, well, you are perfect and special just the way you are. I don't care how dark your clothes are, you shine. Bright like a diamond. You, you okay, Patton? I just got a lot of feelings. Hey, Patton. Eyeshadow buddies. We are buddies. Look, anxiety, you're a natural fight or flight reflex. That's what you're instilled in humans to act as. And for some people, yes, you're a little heightened, but what's a little extra height, right? I mean, that just means you're tall enough to ride every ride at Disney World. Unless you're too tall and you get decapitated on It's a Small World. Wow, sorry for that little tangent. I am reeling right now. The point is, too much of anything can be counterproductive. Well, yeah, but for me. Hold on. Yes, I'm about to provide more exposition, Thomas. Just bear with me. Okay. The relationship between anxiety and performance can be expressed on this curve, known as the yerkes dotson curve. It's named after the psychologists R.M. Yerkes and J.D. Dotson. They Get on with it, calculator watch! Yeah, loud noises! Okay, up here is where you want to be. The optimum degree of constructive tension. Yes! Too much anxiety pushes us to this side of the curve and performance is hindered, which is less than ideal. But without you at all, Thomas is not just on this more relaxed, laid-back side of the graph, which is also not ideal when you're trying to get things done. He's all the way down here. By the horn of a unicorn that was going somewhere! I normally would have fallen asleep, but I am not feeling like 
my fabulous self right now. I am bitterly jittery and not very glittery. So. But with me, aren't you just always on the other side of that curve thing? Your dots and curve. Yeah, that. There's ways that I can work on that anxiety, but I'd rather work on it with you than without you at all. How? I just need to make you feel listened to. You're, you're like, like a really important alarm clock. Sure, the noise can be sudden and a little unpleasant sometimes, but it's important for me to recognize the concern, register it, and carry on changing my actions if necessary. You're what made Thomas double and triple check things he needed to study before taking tests. And also, you're that feeling of tingliness after achieving something he didn't think was possible. E equals MC scared. Sorry, was that too loud? I was worried I wouldn't get another chance to speak and I wanted to share my thoughts before I forgot it. Anxiety. In small doses, you're what pressures me to get out of bed, to get moving and doing stuff. I'm lucky to have you the way that I do. Some people have anxiety that's heightened to the point where it becomes an incredibly difficult and hindering condition. Whether it's a symptom of a different issue, or an anxiety disorder, or the unfortunate result of something someone may be going through. And I don't want to downplay any of that. But I think maybe I could benefit from trying to understand you better. I mean, it's cool to see you all trying to be helpful. Well, most of you, but anxiety, you're what pushes Thomas to rehearse and rehearse before performances. You are that nervousness that he feels right before going on stage, but just as he does so, you ease up, and you let his excitement and passion for performance take over. I think that's as good a sign as any, that you're willing to work as a team, and that you make us better. Was that good? Did I do good? I'm gonna cry. I just don't want to lose any of you. Yerk Stotts and <laughs> Thought I saw this in here earlier. Is this my Alice in Wonderland puzzle book? Oh, yeah. I respected your privacy for this long. Please try to respect mine. Okay. Greetings, friendo. Yes? I couldn't help but notice that you had some very nifty posters back here. Uh, you probably already own like 101 Disney posters. Yeah, I do. But me and these posters are simply meant to be. You can't have my sick, nasty Tim Burton posters. Uh, fine. Uh, what? Hey kiddo, not trying to bother you. Just made you a little something for the room. Hope to see you soon. never really was good at art.